Hey, how you guys doing? This is Tino from LAPC Networking and today I'm going to show you how to add a second hard drive into your MacBook or MacBook Pro or actually you can do this through any um, to any laptop with this adapter uh, normally what it does remove your actual uh, CD drive and you put this one instead of the CD drive so it's going to allow you to put the hard drive in here alright so for this video what I'm going to use is obviously the adapter that I show you. I bought it from Amazon. And then um, the second thing is going to be this uh, 500 gigabyte. Uh, this is a solid state hard drive. It's a A40 Evo from Samsung. And then um, you're going to need a Phillips uh, screwdriver and a T7 for this um, work for this tutorial. All right. So the first thing that you're going to do, you're going to flip your computer down. And you're gonna remove this um, ten screws, three, six, and four ten screws. Remember, on this corner you have three longer screws, so like that you don't get confused and put uh, small ones instead, like this one. Okay, so once that we remove all uh, 10 screws from the bottom, you can uh, just lift it up from the back, put it on the side. So once that you do that, uh, once that you finish with that, if you see the actual hard drive is this cable right here. Um, the the kind of like the best thing that you can do to be safe is remove the battery connector. That is right here you can use it with your nails just one side to one side right here just like jiggle it a little bit and pull it up so like that you don't get any power into the actual computer and don't create a, any short so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna flip the computer the other side and then um, you're gonna remove the actual hard drive connector that's the main hard drive you're gonna remove the one for the speaker that it has the antenna and you're gonna remove the actual uh, CD drive. Just these three, three plugs and that's it. And actually, we're gonna remove this one too. This connector right here comes from the actual main screen. And just be really careful with this one because you don't wanna rip the cable. Just pull it nicely this way. And once that you did that, um, we're gonna remove this screw right here on the bottom, I don't know if you can see it. This is screw that's one, and this one is two, and then uh, three, four, five screws right here. And it's gonna be one under over here and one on the corner. Okay, so let me remove this one first, put it on the side, and then I'm gonna remove the center. Put it on the side. And then I'm going to remove the one for the speaker and put it on the side also. And then the other two in this corner right here. These ones are longer than the other than the other ones. Perfect. So once they, we did that, we can actually um, remove the speaker a little bit. You don't have to take it all the way out. Uh, and then is one screw right here on there on this corner so hiding a little bit that's a small one there are three small ones two long ones and one is on the middle so once that you finish with those screws uh, the two screws for the hard drive and you're gonna you're gonna remove it right here this one they're attached to the little plastic frame so they're not gonna come off completely, but you're gonna remove the frame right here. Okay, so once that you did that, you're gonna lift this up a little bit. Be careful with the cable over here. And you're gonna pull out your actual CD drive right here. Now, these two screws, you're gonna remove it because you're gonna use this little plate. And this is the actual connector that we're gonna install on the new little box. Okay, so we're gonna put the CD drive to the side. Okay, once that we remove the actual CD drive, 
on the on your original hard drive you're also gonna remove your old hard drive it has two screws and then you're gonna lift this up with your with this plastic and be careful don't unplug it all the way don't pull it all the way you, you're gonna have to unplug it once you unplug this this one we're gonna put it inside of the CD dry adapter and your SSD we're gonna put it right here okay because now we're gonna use like the main one for putting once you put this on I'm gonna put the computer on the side just for a little bit so like that I can uh, do the process putting this one inside over here you're gonna use your uh, T7 to remove four little screws that's one that's two three and the last one four this is because we're going to use it with the SSD drive you're going to remove this little plastic and then you're going to get the actual adapter and if you see the plug is in here you're going to put it first release it just let it let it lay down right here and then push it to the front once you flick do you feel the click in you're going to tie up these screws there for screws two in each side and then the other two You don't have to put it completely, completely tight. It's just enough to hold the shell, just the drive in place, so that it's not not moving around. And for your from your existing hard drive, you're gonna remove these two screws. So like that, your aftermarket piece is gonna be secure in place. That's one. and then that's two so in this one and the aftermarket one you see that you have the two holes for two screws right here uh, what you need to make sure is that you're gonna put this facing down and this adapter is gonna go the lower part is gonna go over here do you see what I mean with the lower part this is lower side this is high side so like that when you screw this on this is going to be exactly on the level to screw it on like this it's hard to get it like that but well okay so we're going to put uh, two screws let me get one over here it's really good when you use a magnetic screwdriver Okay, once you did that, I'm gonna put this into the side again. I'm gonna bring my computer back. Actually, before that, I'm gonna get the solid state hard drive. one that I have my solid state hard drive for this one the four screws that we removed from the original one you're gonna use your T5 again I mean T7 again and put it over here because remember that this one we're gonna use it like the main the main hard drive for the operating system for my OS Okay, last screw. I like this little plastic, so I'm gonna put it back over here. That normally help you to pull the hard drive out. 
Okay. So we're gonna get the computer back. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do, you're gonna get uh, your adapter. And also we have to remove this little this little connector from the original one. And we're gonna put it right here. Okay, you're gonna lift this off a little bit. Once you lift it off, we're gonna put this down. Just be careful with the cable that goes over here and with your hydride cable. So once that we did that, we're gonna put the screw that it was hiding first right here on this side and then the other screw the other small one that goes on this side The third one, the one that goes by the connectors. Goes right here. Once you have all three, we're gonna put the speaker back in place. Don't forget this little ground cable that is on the side. So we're gonna use the long screws first, the long the longest screw first right here. Then the second one. I wanna pull this ground thing right here. So once that you did that, the middle screw is gonna be by the speaker in this area. So we finish with that, we're gonna put the little connector first, this little one. Make sure that you plug it all the way in. Be nice, you can use the two nails. And you're gonna push it, this one down right here. Make sure that it's nice and safe. The second one is gonna be the actual uh, speaker one over here. Well, they did that one. The third one is gonna be the one for the CD dry adapter, and then the one for the hard drive. Once that you have all that, you're gonna get your solid state hard drive. Plug it into the main adapter, and you get the other piece to put it over here on the top. And you're gonna screw it down, and then you're gonna screw down the other one, and then the other two longer screws on the other side. Okay, so once that we put everything, just make sure that everything is connected all nice. When we finish with that. We're gonna connect the battery back. Also in this one before, I actually upgrade the memory. Uh, this is not the original one, this is 16 gigabyte. Normally the memory, you just press this thing, these two little legs, and you pull it out. And you see this is an eight gigabyte, and this is another eight. So at the same time, if you wanna upgrade the memory, you can do that. Okay, so the last thing is gonna be to put the actual panel back over here. And remember that this is the, on the black area, that's the back side. So over here, you're gonna put the three longer screws and all the small ones, they're gonna be on the other side.
you can flip it up and now you have two hard drives I'm gonna do a second video to show you um, how to merge those two hard drives and um, but for now I hope this video uh, help you I uh, hope you guys like it uh, please comment and subscribe this is to help you how to install two hard drives on a MacBook Pro and at the same time like I told you you can use the adapter for other computers uh, like a PC and um, that's completely finished just make sure that pl you plug everything and test it and check my second video uh, to show you how to merge those uh, two hard drives onto the MacBook Pro how to make one like the the main one uh, on the software all right thank you guys please comment and subscribe